everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here to share with you today an altered box that I've created. Um, I've got a couple boxes sitting over here that are gessoed and ready to play with, and today was my day off, so I got to do that, and I had the best time. So I decided to cover it in fabric. I know that comes as a shock to some of you, but you know how much I love a fabric covered box. So I took this beautiful um, fabric that I've had in my stash that I've used on a lot of projects lately. So if you've been watching my videos, you've seen it before. And I um, ironed it down to some fusible fleece and then I cut out the pieces to fit my box and then I just glued them on. So, I mean, that works great because it's, you know, got a little bit of padding on it. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So after I glued the top piece on, I then went around with this um, gorgeous trim from Angel Dream Crafts. Love that. So I made sure it didn't hang over too much, at, you know, over the opening, and I brought it um, kind of around the top. I kind of like how that looked. And um, you can find mixed bags, no, bags of mixed buttons. Let's try that over at Angel Dream Crafts and I just tied uh, pink embroidery floss in them because I thought that was cute and I hate an empty button, so, you know. And then along the top, I used this beautiful trim. I just cut it into pieces to adhere, you know, every so often, so pretty. And Angel Dream Crafts does carry this, but she's sold out at the moment, but there's more on the way. So just keep checking, and the link, of course, is below. Uh, the link to the shop is below this video. So for the top, I decided to add one of these adorable um, heart doilies that I got from Dawn Marie, who's uh, Uniquely Yours by Dawn Marie on Facebook. Super cute. Love a heart doily. And then I made a lace and doily flower on the top. Uh, using a mixed pack of doilies from Angel Dream Crafts, and I used um, some of her beautiful eyelet trims to gather up for a couple of layers. And then I added uh, this cute piece of bling, and over at Angel Dream Crafts, you'll find a lot of great bling to use as flower centers. She's got a lot of just beautiful bling over there. Then I decided to use one of her key charms. And I adhered one of her beautiful cabochons to the charm using some glossy accents. And then I put a bow on the front and the back. And I just pinned it on with a bulb pin. Super cute. Love it. So for the inside, I just used another piece of the felted fabric for the top and the bottom. And then I used this adorable heart doily and then one of Kim's uh, light pink butterflies. So cute. I love it. And then this trim going around the edge that is just gorgeous and a perfect edging trim is also from Angel Dream Crafts. Right? I love it. It just turned out so cute. I enjoyed creating it and I loved all the goodies from Kim's shop. Thank you, Kim. And I will have, of course, a link to the shop below, and I will also have a link to all of the um, other current te team members. There's just a bunch of talented ladies, and they are so fun to work with, and I love to watch what they create. So I'll leave those links so you can go check those out too. And I'd love to know what you think about my box. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.